Regarding the development of communication networks, the United States is very anxious now. Do you know why? Well, in recent years, the United States has continuously strengthened communication cooperation with Europe and Japan through joint research and development and signing large-scale procurement contracts. At the same time, the United States and South Korea jointly build a 6G research center, aiming at the early deployment of the next network era. As we all know, unlike the situation in the era of 3G and 4G networks, in the field of 5G communication technology, a number of technology companies with core technology patents have emerged in China. Huawei and ZTE have become the makers of global 5G standards and rules. This triggered a chain reaction in order to curb Huawei's development in the field of 5G technology. The United States has started to revise the rules to restrict Huawei from obtaining external services such as operating system authorization and chip foundry, which will affect Huawei's development in the field of 5G technology. At the same time, in order to bypass Huawei's 5G technology patents, localized 5G network equipment will be launched for the European and American operator markets as soon as possible. U.S. companies led by Microsoft, Cisco, and Intel joined hands with European communication companies Nokia and Vodafone to establish the Open RAN alliance. The original intention of the alliance was to design a feasible solution to eliminate the problems of increased 5G construction costs caused by the inability to use Huawei 5G equipment. But in the end, the 5G construction plan launched by the alliance ended in failure. Many small and medium-sized companies said that using the equipment supplied by the ORAN alliance will bear greater operating costs. Therefore, in order to break the backwardness of 5G technology, the US joined hands with South Korea's Yonsei University to conduct research and development on 6G network technology and jointly build a 6G research center to eliminate the influence of Chinese companies on 5G network technology. However, this also confirms that Huawei's leadership in 5G technology has become a fact. So, what kind of 6G deployments do countries in the world currently have? Can the United States bypass 5G and achieve global leadership in the next generation of communication technology 6G? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about today. Let's get started. If a country can dominate the communication networks of the era, its influence is very large. The United States dominates the 4G network, thus forming a series of top internet technology companies such as Google, Microsoft, Apple, and Amazon, occupying a core market share in the global mobile network. Let alone other things, Qualcomm alone can make a lot of money every year by collecting communication patent fees, and many cutting-edge technologies will be determined by the country that dominate the internet age. Because communication is a major foundation for the development of science and technology, all walks of life can develop rapidly under the premise of ensuring the communication network. It's just that the United States has stumbled in 5G. Not only does it not have the leading advantage in the number of 5G patents, but it is also slow in building 5G base stations. China has built more than 2.2 million 5G base stations, while the United States has only a few hundred thousand. Most of these base stations are millimeter waves, and the signal coverage is limited. Therefore, more base stations need to be built to form comprehensive coverage. This means that US operators will face huge costs in building 5G base stations. Unexpectedly, the United States is already deploying 6G before 5G is done. US National Instruments is cooperating with South Korea's Yonsei University to build a 6G R&D center. In addition to South Korea, the United States has also carried out 6G research with Japan and signed large-scale procurement contracts with allies such as Europe. The United States is strengthening 6G research through the method of interest linkage. Perhaps the United States also knows that it will be difficult to gain a firm foothold in the future 6G era by itself. But since they have chosen to cooperate, I am afraid that the situation will change. Because 6G is a network layout that is separated from ground communication base stations, it needs the support of space satellites. The Starlink project of the US company SpaceX needs to launch a total of 42,000 Starlink satellites into space to seize resources in low Earth orbit. According to the first come first serve principle, if the low Earth orbit resources are occupied by Starlink satellites, it will be very inconvenient for latecomers to launch detection satellites, remote sensing satellites, and communication satellites.
the United States is responsible for the satellites in the space, and Japan, South Korea and other partners are responsible for the 6G communication connection technology on the ground. If this trend continues, in the 6G era, the pattern of communication networks will undergo tremendous changes. As a response, Chinese experts said that China should be alert to the 6G layout of the United States. So, can the United States leapfrog 5G and achieve 6G leadership? The deployment of communication networks from 1G to 5G is on the ground, and by 6G, it will develop into space ground integrated satellite communication. At that time, countries with satellite launch capabilities will have more advantages. We all know that the United States has NASA and SpaceX, and launching satellites is a piece of cake. China also has the ability to launch satellites. In addition, the Chinese car company G-List subsidiaries are also vigorously deploying satellite research and development and manufacturing. On the whole, neither China nor the United States will miss the research and deployment of 6G, and it is even in its infancy. Major enterprises, scientific research institutions and even universities have accumulated a large number of 6G patented technologies. There is also news from Europe that the second phase of 6G research is being launched, and a large number of experiments and prototype designs are being done to improve the standardization and ecology of 6G. Of course, behind the layout of 6G research in Europe, the figure of the United States is also indispensable. The question is, can the United States bypass 5G and achieve 6G leadership? Judging from the cooperation between the United States and various parties, if the communication network between the ground and space satellites is solved, 6G may be led by the United States. However, in terms of the inevitable sequence of development in the Internet age, it is difficult for the United States to bypass 5G and make major achievements in 6G. In other words, there are no shortcuts in the development of communication networks. It took decades for human beings to develop from 1G to today's 5G. Every network era needs to form a complete industrial chain and ecological circle. Only in this way can we pave the way for the next network era. The current 5G network deployment in the United States is very poor. Not only is the construction of 5G base stations slow, but also the old equipment has to be dismantled, which wastes a lot of time, energy and economic costs for no reason. Therefore, in my opinion, what the United States needs to do is not to hinder the development of its opponents and persuade allies to give up free trade cooperation, but to return to the development path of globalization, maintain free trade, and let 5G construction comprehensively promote globalization. All in all, if the United States and South Korea jointly act, perhaps the United States, which has satellite advantages, will take the lead. But the premise is that the United States has to solve the problem of the 5G network and make the right choice of cooperation. Only in this way can 5G in the United States quickly get back on track and complete the corresponding basic layout before the arrival of the 5G era. Otherwise, other countries are already preparing for 6G commercial use, and the United States may still be struggling with which 5G communication equipment to choose. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comment section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.